What's up, travelers? For me and Oscar, hello. hello. <laughs> For, at, Seoul, <laughs> at Seoul, Incheon, where today it is time to fly Scoot Plus now it's called, but it's actually Scoot Biz, formerly known as Scoot Biz, down from Seoul to Taipei today. It's my third time flying Scoot Biz, but my first time reviewing it. So I'm excited to share this experience with you guys today because I actually think that Scoot Plus is an exceptional value and I'm going to talk more about it and show you on board. So I think it's time to board. Okay, we are boarding Oscar's recording stories. Um, anyway, wow, I have a great view of the aircraft from up here. It's a 787-800. 787-8 uh, down to Taipei today. This flight continues to Singapore, so I think there will be quite a few people on board going to Singapore as well. Um, but let's see, hopefully we get a good picture of the plane here as well. All right. The aircraft looks so fun in the yellow <laughs> here at night. And all right, let's go. Here is the economy. Lots of yellow. This is a good place to sit up here um, in rows five and four. You'll pay extra for this, but check out the leg room. So much privacy and space. Welcome to Scoot Plus. Here's what it's like. My seat 2K back here. All right, so once more, here's the seat and let's settle in to it. All right, welcome to Scoot. Is. Actually, Scoot Plus is what we want to say. Here is Oscar's seat. Oscar's packing everything on top. Um, and this is what the seat looks like to our left. We have the tray table, which comes up out of here. Hello, hello. Some drink storage. Um, a few controls. It's just crew call button and uh, light, pretty much. Then on this side, nothing happens, but we just have the seat controls for recline and leg up, and um, of course the window shade controls on the 787. So here, as you can see, we have pretty much unlimited leg room. It's super comfortable here in row two. Um, so much room for the knees, and uh, although there are a few metal things obstructing down here, it's super comfortable. All right, we are on board. We made a mistake, because Oscar is like, it's so hot, there's no individual air vents, which is true. I forgot, I put my USB fans in the checked luggage and we didn't bring them on board, so uh, ouch. <laughs> so there are power ports at this seat, but no USB, so we'd have to use them for our computer anyway, but great to have power ports so we can charge all our stuff. And I wanted to tell you why I think Scoot Plus, as it's called nowadays, is such a good value, and that is because the price of economy would have been this much, and the price of Biz, or Scoot Plus, I keep saying Scoot Biz, would have been this much. So basically, as you can see, the difference when you add in checked luggage, a meal, seat selection, all that stuff is so minimal, and the level of comfort you get is so much better. And the great option is that Scoot Plus is available throughout Asia. Now, if you guys have been following me since the spring, you know that I posted a video about getting, um, I wouldn't say harassed, but basically dealing with rude passengers in Scoot Biz flying from Singapore to Perth. If you haven't seen that video, it's a funny one, so I'm gonna leave it in a card um, up here. That led to my review getting all screwed up, and I didn't post a review from that flight, so that's why we're doing this today. So we have some pre-departure water <laughs> served like this. We also made our drink orders. Meal and Meals and Scoop Biz are pre-ordered online when you book the flight. Oscar and I both chose the Indian veg madras curry. I think that's what we're gonna get. Super excited because we're so, so hungry. How do you feel, Max? Okay. So I was just digging into this water and I may or may not have just spilled all over my clothes. Same. Also, I wanted to say that this whole rebranding from Scoot Biz to Scoot Plus makes a lot of sense because, as Scoot said themselves in the press release, the fact that they called it Biz was misleading and they wanted to align it more with what the product actually was, which makes sense. So, they used to call this business class, which especially for people who are used to flying Singapore Airlines, and then they fly Scoot, which is a Singapore Airlines subsidiary, and they're like, what is this? Why are they calling this Biz? It makes sense. It is a plus product. I always counted it as premium economy, and it is a very comfortable premium economy at that. I think 
Calling a plus also helps set expectations a little bit better. Oh, now they made the lighting much better for video, so uh, <laughs> let's have a look in here in the seat pocket Ooh, street cafe where we can see the choice of um, food and the choice of beverages that we have on board. So uh, let's see, I love this cartoony style. So you get one free meal choice of these different things if you're in Scoopers. Here we have hot meals and the madras curry which is what I'm going with. The prices on these things are for people in economy who can choose to buy them if they want. Probably going to order some of these too. Snacks are not included. And finally, the liquor. Okay, so we just took off. Oscar is connecting to Wi-Fi. Scoot offers free Wi-Fi nowadays in Scoot Plus, um, 30 megabytes, which is great. Also, you can see the seats in front are reclined. But even though the seats are reclined, it's perfectly fine to work on a laptop. There's plenty of room here, so you won't have to fold it like you would in economy. And combining that with Wi-Fi and power cords, this is a good place to get some work done. Although I'm quite tired, so I'm excited to eat and then sleep. The meal service has started and technically ended, given that they served it all on one tree. We have some chocolate for dessert, and here's the main course. I ordered coconut water to drink along with the food. So uh, let me un unbox this for you. All right, and here we are. It looks decent, smells decent. So uh, let's just dig in because we are both super hungry. Okay, now it's time for dish. <laughs> dish number two. We ordered some extra um, veggie cup noodles for five Singapore dollars per person. So we get to assemble them ourselves. So Oscar was just saying that he's super impressed by the recline. Goes back quite a lot. So now that the meal is done, we're both gonna take a nap, I think, because we're tired. Our departure was a little bit delayed, so uh, we're just gonna recline and sleep. The 787 is so wonderfully quiet up here, so um, perfect to just relax for a little bit. Oh, and I wanna give a shout out to flight attendant Gerald, who watches my videos. Okay, you guys, we made it to Taiwan. It's mine and Oscar's 50th country together, which is so exciting. It's almost, it's actually after 2 a.m. Seoul time, so it's been a long day. I slept really well in the seat, I think, because of how tired I was. I just passed out. But one thing I noticed when the seat is reclined, it's almost impossible to get out, so I was like doing all types of weird, like, uh, body movements, trying to find a way to squeeze out of the seat while Oscar is still sat in his. But anyway, Scoot Plus is such a great value. Don't go into it with super high expectations. And I think that the, it's actually really great that they decided to change names because Scoot Plus represents what the product is so much better than Scoot Biz. And Scoot Plus kind of sets your expectations in the right place that you just might have a more comfortable experience and economy and definitely at a good price. So Scoop Plus isn't really anything to get excited about. I wouldn't go out of my way to fly it, but if there is the option, it's honestly so much better value than economy class, and I recommend it in those instances. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Sorry if this video is like uh, just me being tired, but I feel like that's me all the time, but I have some daytime flights coming up soon. Next flight is on Japan Airlines, which I'm super excited about. So uh, I'll see you guys all for a new video very soon. And until then, as always, lots of love and fly safe.